Hi, this is Marcy. Our May evening skies have two bright planets, some easy to spot stars and constellations. Here's some of the highlights of the May evening and morning skies this month. Here's a chart of the brighter stars and constellations as they'll appear at about 10 p.m. in May. We'll go through some of them later. But first we'll look at what planets are visible in May. There are two planets visible as darkness falls. Bright Jupiter is in the western evening sky and will be slipping closer to the horizon each day. The red planet Mars follows it across the sky. The morning sky hosts a trio of planets. Look for them about 30 to 40 minutes before sunrise. There's bright Venus. You can catch it before dawn with Saturn nearby and Mercury near the horizon. Mercury will slip away later in the month and Venus and Saturn will move apart as the month goes by. The southern hemisphere has a better view of the three morning planets because of the angle of the ecliptic. That's the green line on our chart and it shows the path of the sun and planets across the sky. The moon, as always, can guide you to stars and planets. The waxing crescent moon will be near Jupiter on May 1st. The moon and Mars will buzz the beehive star cluster on May 3rd. The full flower moon falls overnight on May 12th through 13th. Its name comes from the wildflowers in bloom now in the northern hemisphere. It's also the last of three most distant full moons or micro moons this year. The full flower moon will be near the bright red star Antares. And the moon will visit Venus and Saturn on the mornings of May 22nd to 24. Then the moon pays another visit to Jupiter on May 27th and 28th. Jupiter will soon be lost in the evening twilight. Catch it while you can. We've also got a meteor shower this month, the Ada Aquarids. The best time to watch for them is in dark skies on the mornings of May 5th and 6th. Southern viewers are favored to see more meteors. They can see up to 60 meteors an hour. Now let's move on to the stars and constellations in the May evening sky. Toward the west, we've got the constellation Gemini, one of the few remaining winter constellations still visible. The most obvious stars in Gemini are the two stars at the top of the twins, Pollux and Castor. High in the sky is a group of stars almost everyone knows, the Big Dipper. It's part of the constellation Ursa Major. In fact, you can use the end of the bowl of the Big Dipper, aka the Pointer Stars, to find another bright constellation overhead this month. That's the constellation of Leo the Lion. Leo has a distinctive shape and is easy to pick out in the May evening sky. The easiest pattern of stars to spot in Leo is a backward question mark with the bright star Regulus as its punctuation mark. It's known as a sickle. The last constellation almost overhead in the evening sky this month is the kite-shaped pattern of stars known as Bootes. Arcturus is the brightest star in the constellation of Bootes. The last pattern to spot overhead is a large trio of stars known as the Spring Triangle. It's made from the stars Arcturus, Regulus, and Spica. The Spring Triangle covers a large area of the sky. There's also a small spring triangle made of Arcturus, Spica, and Denebula. Denebula is part of a triangle of stars marking the hindquarters of Leo the Lion. If you look to the north, you will see a constellation in the shape of an M or a W, that is Cassiopeia. And over the northeastern horizon, look for the northern cross lying in the thick of the Milky Way. For those staying up late at night, the summer Milky Way is rising. You'll see familiar stars and constellations along the Milky Way. Late night through dawn, look for Scorpius. The teapot of Sagittarius rises late at night. And the easy-to-spot summer triangle is made of the bright stars Deneb, Vega, and Altair. So May is a marvelous month for stargazing. 